Hey everybody, today we have a uh, Mitsubishi XD500U here. Uh, it's in for a couple reasons. Main one is the uh, lamp shuts down. Tried a new lamp, um, verified that the lamp is fine. Uh, actually, the lamp that they put in. And this is actually the problem right here. That flashing status light. This actually tells me that the lamp timer is right near expiration and will shut down the projector. Once these lamps get to uh, 2,900 hours, I think, I have to check the manual, but I think it's around there. It'll give you a nag screen message uh, projected and it'll flash this light. In fact, I will demonstrate that. Let's turn it on and let me get this set up on the screen. Forgive my uh, temporary test screen. This is just a toaster. And apparently, whoever set this up loaded a desktop picture of their computer, which is kind of funny. That's actually not a computer. There's nothing plugged into this projector. In fact, if I go to menu, let's see, see? Lamp will shut down shortly. Install, please, what's that say? Please replace to new lamp. Please replace to new lamp. Wow, okay. So let's go to the menu. There's the menu. And then let's go over to information. And there is the lamp hours, 2942. I apologize for the uh, color issue here because this is a DLP projector and my cell phone camera is not in sync with the color wheel. So you're seeing the rainbow effect of the color wheel. So you can see that's 2,942 hours. It's way too many hours. Uh, this lamp only has a few hours on it because it's a new lamp, but they never reset the timer. So we're going to reset the timer. And the way to reset the timer is to turn the projector off. And then we're going to press some of these buttons in a certain sequence. Okay, right now I'm waiting for the fans to turn off because we actually need to unplug the power cord to initiate the reset properly. A lot of Mitsubishi projectors are reset this way. What we're going to do to reset it, we're going to unplug the power cord, wait a few moments, plug the power cord back in, and then we're going to hold down the left and right arrows, the video computer buttons, and power at the same time. The red light should stop flashing, the projector should come up, and we should have no hours on that lamp. And I will say the lamp count will be a little off on this one, but only yeah, 20 hours maybe, if that. Alright, so there we go. So now the fan went off. Let's unplug the power cord. Wait a few moments for all the capacitors to charge down. Plug it back in. Then we're going to hold down all of these at the same time. And you saw that light flash. That was the reset happening. No flashing status light. And it turns right on. And let's get back on my little makeshift screen here. I need to get a larger screen for in here. I have an actual test screen out of the lab but it's kind of inconvenient to use in here. Oh, and there's that silly splash screen again. Let me see if I can go to the menu. No signal. Ah, no lamp warning. All right, installation. Let's go down to information. Oh, that's installation, not information. There we are. There's information. There we go. Zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. Lamp time zero. Zero hours. Right. Oops. Right there. Zero hours. So the timer is reset in here now. And so this is essentially ready to go back to the customer. Although I'm going to do a, a little bit of cleaning just so it's in good shape when they get it back. I kind of wish they had given us a little bit more information because I could have saved them some shipping. But and sometimes people, it's even beyond some people, which is fine. You know, we all have our specialties. So there you go. That's uh, the easy way to reset the timer for an XD500U. Uh, if you have any questions, 
leave them in the comments below. Do that uh, subscribe thing. Um, if you like the video, click like. If you don't like the video, click dislike. Everybody should have their voice heard. So as usual, thanks for watching.